Where is Christina Karam, the person who was considered P. Diddy's gatekeeper, if you will, compared to uh, Glacine Maxwell, the lady who was rolling with Epstein? Could she be uh, P. Diddy's secret witness in his case? Because if you're going to lock up the person who built the gate, then you definitely would have to lock up the gatekeeper, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Let's get into some of this straight game. It's not what you dealt with, but how you play it. Remember they used to laugh at a brother Welcome back guys Welcome back It's your boy Delray Richardson Platinum artist Platinum songwriter uh, Hit the thumbs up button Subscribe to the channel If you would like to be One of the first people Notified when I drop Some of this straight game Please do me a favor And click on what appears To be that little bell Notification right below this video I'm gonna get right into it Ladies and gentlemen Where is Christina Karam? As we've heard uh, in the indictment uh, of P. Diddy for uh, various charges, sex trafficking, uh, racketeering, uh, and the RICO Act. If they're going to lock up the person who built the gate. Then wouldn't you think that the gatekeeper who was considered the person who was considered the gatekeeper would be also arrested? This comes from um, sources as well as. Little Rod's case against Diddy and where he named uh, the young lady by the name of uh, Christina Karam as and, and Diddy has called her his a self-professed right hand, if you will. And so when you do a RICO case, most people who don't understand it's a, a corrupt organization's case. Right. Notice they didn't really name anybody else, but they, they, they said that um, Diddy was using uh, other employees and staff members to assist in his um, uh, sex trafficking ring or whatever they would call it from that perspective. I, like I said, I view it differently based on the fact that um, he was not pimping, pandering or doing any of those things from that perspective. When you deal with the, the conventional way of looking at some kind of organization like that, I, I think um, they basically are saying to, to, uh, Please his sexual desires, if you will, right? But the person who Little Rod described as the person who would always go and get the cash, uh, always send people out uh, to retrieve drugs, is none other than Christina Karam, last name K H O R R A M. And Diddy described her as his right hand. So now, it's also said that uh, uh, if anybody is a gatekeeper, it's Christina and she would know everything. And I say that to say this. When because it seems like it took a, a, a little while for, for them to come down with this indictment. Why wasn't she arrested? And could she be the secret witness that the Fed or, so, or should I say the ace in the hole that the feds have against Diddy? I think it is. I think it is. Like I said, once again, um, and, and the only reason why, once again, because you have all of this other information and then you can have all of these other witnesses in regards to to how to put the case together. But they mentioned nobody else's names. And, and, and so the fact that Little Rod had mentioned her and uh, a few other people in regards to that, but namely her, that that was the person who would procure the drugs who would have the bags of money, you know, paying certain people from that perspective. Um, yeah. Uh, basically, like I said, they say that Combs used certain employees, including high ranking supervisors to carry out, facilitate and cover up his abuse and uh, commercial sex ring. Now, I my when like I said, once again, when they call it a commercial sex ring, you know, I don't know how to, to, to really relate that to, to what normally would be a sex ring as far as um, first they were saying it, but there was underage girls. You know, this is how they made it sound salacious in Little Rod's case. They were talking about underage girls and things of that nature. 
Um, we have yet to find anything of, of, of any any facts involving that. Um, in the indictment, they didn't even name uh, anybody in particular. Like I said, I guess they're, they're holding on to that until they go to trial or whatever. But so my my, my thing is when, when I look at the, the, the overall, I don't really know how. And like I said, there was a, um, a high powered attorney who went on CNN yesterday and she basically said the same thing. She was like, you know, the prosecution, I understand why they filed the case the way they filed it. But there's a lot that they left out in regards to um, the intent, because, you know, once again, they're saying that Diddy was paying to have sex with women and to watch um, other people have uh, an intercourse with certain women's. Uh, Cassie also put that in her lawsuit that, you know, she was one of those uh, persons who and being Diddy's girlfriend that he wanted to watch uh, other men be with her from that perspective. And so I don't see anything illegal about that or recording anything of that nature, right? Like I said, what they would call the freak offs. But at the end of the day, when you think about the big picture, um, it's all allegations at this particular point. And the reason why I say that is because, well, the violence we know came from the Cassie video. Is there anybody else alleging violence and can prove that they were physically harmed by Diddy? So, like I said, the reason why I do it this way is because it's always to remain unbiased and objective. You know, what I mean, a lot of people want to lean all, oh, you know, and as, act as if they know what's like. You got to really understand the law and how they do things. Like I said, a lot of the stuff was just repeated, you know. Um, so when I ask where uh, uh, Christina Karam is, that's the reason why I ask that, because if anybody should have been locked up with Diddy, it should have been her. When you talk about running a corrupt organization and you can chime down into the comments and tell me, what do you think about that? Like I said, she was, you know, Diddy called her uh, his right hand. And so, you know, like they say, the indictment papers basically said, you know, it's alleged to have used certain employees, including high ranking supervisors, right? To carry out, facilitate, cover up uh, the abuse and sexual ring, although none of these employees were named in the papers, right? So now, if none of those employees were named in the papers, then somebody's got to be talking, right? It says the supervisors, listen, the supervisors facilitated sexual performances, dub freak offs, according to the indictment, uh, which included sex workers and the shocking hotel rooms in advance, I mean, and stocking hotel rooms in advance. With, with the required freak off supplies, including controlled substances, baby oil, lubricant, extra linens, and lighting. During raids, Diddy's mansions earlier this year, narcotics and more than 1,000 bottles of baby oil was found, right? The, 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 the funny thing is, uh, Christina Karam joined Bad Boy Entertainment as a senior executive. Listen, this is the reason why I'm saying this. As a senior executive, in 2020 in 2013 and became a manager for diddy uh the director of office of the chairman of combs enterprises according to her now deleted linkedin profile she was appointed chief of staff in 2020 so i'm asking you and i'm asking the world where is christina karam i think she's the secret witness because evidently she knows everything. And I, I can almost imagine that when the feds came to her and asked her, um, would she be willing to cooperate? Because if she did not cooperate, she would be a part of this indictment. And what side do you think that she chose? Once the, Like I said, once the gravy train is over, man, people switch sides so fast, your head will spin. You know, um, you know they're usually loyal to the side that's paying them the most. And they can never really truly be unbiased about anything, you know, and when the, when the tides switch, that's when they switch. And so now that's the reason why I'm making this video, because, like I said, a lot of people are not really paying attention to what's going on. So the secret witness, who is the secret witness? Like I said, right. Um, Yeah. And and like I said, in the in the little rod lawsuit, uh, uh, Christina Karam was described as the Glacine Maxwell, uh, who was for uh, Jeffrey Epstein, as to what she meant to Sean P. Diddy Combs 
basically she was procuring drugs, the money, allegedly procuring uh, uh, the women um, and, and various other activities as the senior uh, executive for the Combs Enterprises. Now, notice Combs Enterprises was a legal entity. And it is said that that was the enterprise that was actually handling all of the racketeering, right? If you remember, um, she was also uh, uh, down in, in Florida after the situation had fell apart. So like I said, once again, now that he's been a um, in, incarcerated, right? I'm asking myself, hey, you know what? Where's Christina? Because Christina is a, play, has played a pivotal role um, um, you know, in this situation, um, basically, you know, there's been outlets trying to talk to her, contact her. Um, she hasn't spoken out, but like I said, that does not mean that she has not spoken with the investigators trying to investigate this situation and not to say that she has, but not to say that she hasn't either. But like I said, once again, what I'm saying is if she was the senior uh, executive for the Combs Enterprises and that's supposed to be the entity that was actually doing all of this racketeering and sex trafficking and drug trafficking and all of the things that they named the indict in the indictment, then my question is, where is she? Um, so yeah, it's, it's crazy, man. Um, yeah. Like, and, and like in 2021, uh, Diddy posted a, uh, uh, posted about her on his Facebook, right? Saying she's been my right hand for the last eight years and has consistently proven to execute and get shit done. Don't know how I'd function without her. Get it? So once again, this is P Diddy talking about, uh, Christina Karam. And so if he has not been able, you know, he didn't know how he would get things done without her. My question is why wasn't she arrested? And where is she? And like I said, in the in Little Rod lawsuit, in the lawsuit separate uh, from the federal investigation filed by rapper Little Rod in February, Karam 37 was described as the glacing Maxwell uh, to Sean Combs, Jeffrey Epstein, a reference to the notorious sex offender and his uh, a now imprisoned right hand woman. Right. At the time and accused of having uh, ordered sex workers and prostitutes for him. So they're basically saying that Christine Karam was uh, basically glazing Maxwell for Sean P. Diddy Combs. So I ask again, where is Christine at? Right? Um, Karam, according to Little Rod's lawsuit, also knowingly and intentionally participated in, perpetrated, assisted, supported, facilitated a sex trafficking venture. That's what Little Rod said in his lawsuit. Right. So now, once again, we ask, where is Christina? Not is it she participated in not just she perpetrated, assisted, supported, facilitated a sex trafficking venture, if you will. As the chief of staff, Karam, according to Little Rod lawsuit, was instrumental in organizing and executing the racketeer influence and corrupt organizations acts enterprise that he claimed Diddy was running. She was one of the kingpins, if you will, of this situation, right? Basically, Little Rod had said in his lawsuit that Karim ordered sex workers and prostitutes for Diddy. Karim has not been arrested or charged with any crime as of yet. So what we're asking right now is where is she? Or could she be the secret witness? Diddy is in jail. There's a RICO charge. He's been the only one that's been arrested involving this RICO charge. My, my best theory is that, you know, they're going to try to flip everybody else against them because I don't think, like I said, you need, you need corroborating witnesses for this type of uh, case. You, if you don't have that, like the free golf tapes that they say they found or whatever is not uh, evidence enough. You know what I mean? That's not illegal. They're not charging that. They're saying that, you know, this, this organization, the ordering of sex workers, paying people and so on and so forth is way bigger than him just having sex with people from that perspective. But like I said, if she is the right hand man 
or the right hand person um and he couldn't have done anything for the last past eight years uh, uh with without her help then you know where's christina Quran? you know so we're asking this question right now um like i said christina joined bad boy in 2013 as a senior executive right became diddy's manager um and all of these other things so and little rod said like you know, she participated she was the one that booked the prostitutes and the, the, the sex workers and paid them and and did all of these other things and she was like one of the spearheading or should i said the person in charge of the uh uh the rico venture that diddy was allegedly running so y'all you know y'all chime down in into the comments man and tell me what you guys think because uh this is going to be interesting but like i said me personally i think she's one of the people uh or that secret witness witness but because she knows everything you know what i mean that's going to be the one that puts diddy in prison uh for probably 15 to 20 years if you will your boy delray straight gang